स्ट्रीट फुटबॉल एगर्स Nigeria is the biggest black nation with over 200 million people of different tribes, religion and creed has a variety that ranges from fashion, music and of course sports. Get ready as I take you into the world of street football leaders. Before we continue, please take out time and subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can notify you of more interesting videos from Lagos, Nigeria. Nigeria has produced world-class footballers who have stunned the world with their skills and drama. Winning trophies and championships both in the male and female categories of football internationally. To mention a few, footballers like JJ Okocha, Kalu Wanko, Shegun or Degwami. These were stars who started from their neighborhood competitions and schools. Football has brought pride to the biggest black nation. It's a rhythm in our system. We love to display and of course win. But where did it all start from? With a population of over 18 million inhabitants, Lagos is the New York of Africa, harboring people from all over the world. The population keeps expanding as business grows. Ideas are implemented and talents are discovered. With over 70% of the population being youths, the need to have recreation centers is hampered by the emergence of new housing estates everywhere to provide for the increasing population. We inherited football from our colonial masters and have made it to an international level. An average boy in Lagos plays football and every available corner is used to play football in Lagos. It's a way to show skills, make friends and feel good. Every corner has a potential as far as traffic is reduced on the streets and we have some cooperating neighbors. Countries like Africa, and in countries in Africa, football is because of the level of poverty, football, and then South America as well. That's why you say football is the number one sport. For places like North America and all of that, basketball appears like a cultural thing. Almost every corner of the streets, you find a basketball court. Almost every area you find a basketball court, and like guys go there, they're shooting, they're playing, and all that. This is the formation of the football competition. Each side ranges from three to six depending on the space available. The posts are referred to as monkey post. Any object could be used as a football ranging from old shoes to rolled up paper balls as far as it can be kicked. Here in one of the places considered as high brand Lagos near a construction site is a tournament. I met them playing with so much zeal each side trying to win and obviously they had their own ideas of football heroes my name is Roy Johnson I just like playing football because if the game of exciting is full of interest very good game all right how long have you been playing street football mm, it's quite like 10 years ago 10 years ago yeah your favorite footballer Messi 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 yeah okay favorite team Barcelona all right um, best football experience? Well, best football experience is street football. When you play on street, you know, you have to wait for people to pass. So, time to so you just feel like embarrassing you. Why are you playing like this? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Which football person do you want to meet in person? If he's watching you now. I am Messi. Serious. Let's go! Alright. Let's like you guys. This is a way of recreation for some parts of Lagos where the youth have no choice than to create their own form of entertainment. My name is Chizoba, Chizoba Okafo. Um, uh, I've been training, playing right from childbirth anyway. As in, I started training, I started with a local team anyway from back then in Alagbado, back in my hometown. So we started from five aside, you know, I play as a three. So ever since then, you know, I enjoyed football. So, who's your favorite player? Um, 
For me, my favorite player is Messi because I like to imitate him because we play the same wing and we use the same foot as in left footer. So I'm a left footer too. So I enjoy playing football and I love his tactics and his skills. So I learned from him too. I learned from him. To be honest with you, I would say that sports has declined and now there is a preponderance of or there is a conservation of football to the detriment of other sports. We all love football. There's no game saying the fact that probably is the most popular sport in the world. But I feel that we are missing the book somehow. I feel every child, what I like about sports, one of the things I like about sports is sports teaches the young ones proper values, teaches the values of teamwork, dedication, um, hard work, patience, perseverance. You really have to work at it. You have to keep your body at the And then it takes you away from the vices. You know, you can do some other stuff and then you get away with it. But in sports, you are tested for drugs, you are tested for alcohol. You can't do certain things and excel in sports. So I think sports teaches good values. But I feel that the success in the football, especially in the mid 90s, took our attention away from other sports and it's very unfortunate and then of course the huge money that parents now see that you can make from playing football at the highest level but i'll tell you what i think we're missing the point we missed the boat and we can still um, turn around and make amends and i think it has to do with government we have to create an enabling environment for every child any child who's talented in any sport my son might be talented in basketball, your daughter might be talented in hockey, for instance. We've got to create the platform and enable environment for that child, not only a football uh, talented kid, for that child who's talented in any sport to get to the highest levels where they can get. And that can only be provided by government. I'm talking about infrastructure where, I mean, if every child should have access to basic sporting facilities. You find schools now that don't even have um, sports facilities. I don't know how that pans out. I don't know how that works. Street football is played anytime, at night or in the daytime, as far as people can see the football and the way to the post. Street football has given rise to future stars. And who knows, some of these boys playing today might be the JJ Okocha of tomorrow. <laughs>